Somebody's here. How cool would that be? Yeah, man. Okay, I we have a lot to talk about about the, that money issue then, if you really think that. Honestly, free speech, money, uh, I agree that, um, well, first of all, we have to define what we're talking about. People who run from office shouldn't be allowed to get money from big businesses. Well, um, corporate, direct corporate contributions to candidates, directly to candidates, is still illegal. What is legal now is, but you have, so individuals can donate directly to candidates. Um, but what, what, are, what Citizens United held and what is at issue now is big businesses, corporations spending, in, doing independent spending. Independently, separate from the campaign, donating to a PAC that supports a, a given candidate. And that's legal because that's just engaging in free speech. And free speech is uh, protected under the United States Constitution. And the whole justification for getting rid of these quid pro quo, quid, quid pro quo corruption um, is still illegal. Like politicians cannot engage in quid pro quo corruption, but that's very, that just doesn't happen really, blah, blah, blah. Like, and so really the underlying all of this is a, a desire to, to get money out of politics. And you hear people talk about, say that, and, you know, we need to get money out of politics. And then that's like saying like, we need to take power out of the international military equation or international, or that's like saying we need to take the military out of the international power structure debates. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, it's money is a, like a fundamental part of society. And like back in the day at the Founding Fathers, one of the ideas that the Founding Fathers knew would be protected under the First Amendment is this idea that you would go and buy money and spend money on, you would go and buy and spend money on a pamphlet and you would have to print that pamphlet and you would have to, buy the paper for that pamphlet and you'd have to pay for the ink for that pamphlet and then you would have to have the time and money to go out and hand that pamphlet out on the street corner a political pamphlet that says vote for let's say vote for x y or z issue or vote for x y or z candidate um and that's that was typical like political speech electioneering speech and that was for sure protected by the first amendment you're allowed to do that the congress can't limit your your ability to do that the congress can't prevent you from doing that and so actually what at issue was citizens united was like a a, a business for, or a, a group of people that um a corporation i think that wanted to spend money and create a documentary about hillary clinton this was actually a documentary about hillary clinton and it was a, a negative documentary about Hillary Clinton, and I think the FCC or whatever, I think there was the FCC filed suit against them to prohibit them from happening, or, or the FCC prevented them from publishing it, and Citizens United filed suit, one of the two. And, and then it went up to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court was like, no, you cannot prohibit, you cannot prohibit Citizens United from publishing a, a, a documentary and, and paying for it to run on TV. Ooh, circles a ways away. 29 left. And so that's all that case was about. And that's, that's standard political speech. That's the, one of the most basic ideas of electioneering and political speech. Okay. One oh five. What's What's the date today? September 7th. 